In example number four, you uh, may have seen what we call in, in mathematics a piecewise function, and these are really neat. I think they these are really cool to graph. In this example, we're not going to graph right now, but later on, it we will have some problems in our textbook that we that are going to have us graph. But um, so what we have right now is a piecewise function, and the reason why it's called a piece because our function f is being defined by two different pieces. Okay, it's not just x squared plus one. It's x squared pl plus one when x is less than zero, and then but when x is greater than or equal to zero is defined as x minus one. So this just means that our function f of x behaves differently over different intervals of x. Meaning, if x is less than zero, then it's going to look like this graph. But then when, when x is equal to 0 or greater, it's going to look like this. So, But they're really cool when you graph. We'll get to that later on. For this one, actually, we're not graphing. Uh, we're being asked to evaluate the function. Okay. So evaluating means you just take the values that are given to you, Okay, and you're going to plug them into our function. And in this case, we're going to plug it into our piecewise function. So uh, we need to find f of negative 1 and f of 0. So let's start with, with um, f of, of uh, negative 1 first, okay? So let's start with the first one. So let's find f of negative 1. So let's think about this. Are we going to use our first function or our first part or our second piece? Okay, what piece are we going to use? Okay, well, look here. x equals negative 1. Is x equals negative 1, is that less than 0? Well, yes, right? So that means we're going to use this guy... For, for this evaluation, because the x is less than negative 1, so that means we must use this uh, function right here. So we're going to use um, f of negative 1 is negative 1 squared plus 1. Notice what I just did. I just replaced all the x's right now with negative 1, okay? And then uh, negative 1 squared is 1, plus 1 is 2. So our answer then is f of negative 1 is 2. That's all it is right there. Now let's go ahead and do this guy. What's f of 0? Well, let's see. What piece would we use? Would we use the first one again? Let's see. Let's plug it in. Is 0 less than 0? <laughs> no. But is 0 greater than or equal to 0? Ah, I see. I see. That's right. All right. So since 0 is greater than 0, we're going to use this piece now for this part of this evaluation. So f of 0 equals 0 minus 1, which equals negative 1. So f of 0 equals negative 1. And that's it for that dude.